Howdy out there. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about uh, doing two operations. I mean, all these parts that we make uh, usually require two operations, minimal, to have a complete part. If you're using this method here of oversized material, you got to hold it on the bottom. You need to remove the bottom at least, or you're going to do features on the other side. So the first side is really just raw material that you're making. Uh, let me shut that out there for a minute. Uh, you're creating something out of. So actually, the the coordinates to get that set up is not not as critical. You just got to make sure the material's long enough. A common problem here is if you look at this right, and they tell you on the setup sheet. <laughs> To cut it 2.05 inches long. Two inches is not is going to be really short because if you're using this coordinate, if you're doing it exactly like the setup sheet says, you're going to end up short. Uh, you could have the debate about using stock positions and model positions, but you can still cut them too short, believe me. Like in this case, we're actually shifting our offset a little bit. So you got to kind of go along with the, how the shop is doing it. You got to be able to understand different methods instead of forcing it to be a certain way. This works just fine. We use the upper left hand corner. We use the pro the high Renishaw probe cycle that does upper left, which does all three at once, and then we just add these shifts in. Uh, you could you could program it so that you just do the corner probe three done. In industry, we'd, we'd probably do it more like that. But we're trying to teach people to be a little uh, better. And this kind of comes into play with Operation 2. Because Operation 2, you cannot come off of the raw material. It's not accurate enough. We need to be aligned to this. So my preferred method, uh, this is round. I would just go to the center of the round object. And I'm going to use the top, the top is my finish line to create this height, this height right here. So if I inspect this from this surface to this surface, whoop, 750. That's what I'm trying to hold. So if I machine these round jaws, I'm going to probe the bottom of the jaw and I'm going to shift it up. So at some point you got to learn how to shift. You could program it like bottom of the part and probe the bottom done um, but it's half a dozen of one or the other but this is how we're doing it we're shifting up to this coordinate here so we're using we use it we're all model based at this point we're not stock no stock is just being removed so we're going to do two operations so operation one on your setup this one here, WCS1. You cannot use the zero anymore if you're trying to do both operations at once. If you post the code, you'll get an error message, and this is how I learned how to do it. This needs to be one, and on Haas or FANUC machines, this will be equal to the G54 code. So I got program number, I got operation two, so I'm actually just, I don't need to call it op one anymore. It's gonna be complete program now. I'm gonna hit okay. That's operation one. So operation two, I'm just going to go to that setup. And this one needs to be WCS2. We got to, it's going to spit out a G55 instead of G54. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And I believe that you do, I don't think you get this data in there when you do both of them together. This is two operations. This would be first operation and second. So we're doing, if you watch the video, we have two vices to do this. So how do we do the code is you have to select both operations. Then we're going to, and it tells you right here, multiple setups with different, they're just giving you a warning. Your post must be able to handle this, but you selected two, two work coordinate systems. Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> Hit OK. All right. I got right there. Program 1001 and Titan 6MED. I'm going to select my, I'm using cloud posts, which means I only have a few selections here. I have a 
like I'm testing out one for uh, we have a uh, advisory committee uh, they just bought his Haas DS 30Y machine dual spindle which we was learning about that one. we have the Haas classic I'm gonna hit post I'm gonna save my program look at the program I got my tools in order here I got time span machine I got facing operation and then facing operation again see this one says G54 G55 so it's it's simulation you're not going to get the total simulation uh, until fusion comes up with the machine simulation part but you don't really need that so this is going to be 54 would be the left vice, 55 would be the right vice. So when you're doing the post, right down here, it says there's a selection right here. Reorder to minimize tool changes. So if you got face mill on the left, can it go to the right? Or do you need to wait till all of this is done, all of this stuff is done? Yes. So it recognizes that. Um, it's, it's not out of order. It saves you a tool change. And it's going to go to the right hand vice and do what it needs to do over there so anything that's shared on either side like tool three if tool three is out the chamfering tool we can go to that side and do some chamfering so you want to make sure double check that if you're using the reorder that things are in the proper order when it gets to the right side so that one doesn't end up in front of the other so but this seems it seems to work pretty flawless from what i've seen so